In this presentation, we will discuss investment pools. Recalling that investment pools is gonna be a type of fiduciary fund activity. In other words, it's gonna fall into the category of fiduciary funds. We wanna recall that there's three types of funds. We have the governmental funds, biggest group of funds, the proprietary funds, those that act similar to a for-profit type of organization, fiduciary funds, those that have some fiduciary type component to it, investment pools falling into this category. Government funds may include cash, short-term investments, and long-term investments. Management of investments may be improved if investments are pooled. In other words, like with a for-profit type of organizations or with individuals, we might say, hey, it might be a good idea for us to take our investments, pool them together, and have them managed as a group. So we're thinking about having the cash, the short-term investments, long-term investments, pool together into some type of investment pool that would then be managed in some kind of group format. And you can imagine as this is set up, then we're going to have the investment pool handling the investments of assets typically that are going to be out of or outside of the control or belong to someone other than possibly the investment pool that is handling uh, the investments. And that's why you have that fiduciary type of responsibility related to it. Investment pools administrated through a trust agreement are reported as investment trust funds. So if it's a trust agreement that sets it up, it's an investment pool trust fund. If no trust agreement, they are reported as custodial funds. So if we don't have the trust agreement, then custodial funds. Investment pool trust fund, earnings from pooled investments and changes in fair value are allocated to the participants having an equity interest in the pool in proportion to their relative contributions to the pool. So in other words, we can imagine entities putting their investments into a pool so that pool can then manage those investments, invest those in investments, and then distribute according to whatever the pool regulations are. Notice as we make distributions and as we allocate any changes in the fair value of the investments, we can imagine investing in stocks and bonds or something like that. As there's a change in fair value and as there's earnings, then we have to think about how we're gonna allocate those earnings out to the various people who have invested an equity interest so we can imagine let's say four people putting money into the pool now we got to think about what happens when the earnings on that money accumulates how are we going to distribute those earnings then to the participants of the pool typically we're going to look at the proportional value of the investments of the contributions and use a ratio type of analysis uh, in order to allocate out that earnings and the increase in the fair market value so once again let's go through that one more time Earnings from pooled investments and changes in fair value are allocated to the participants having an equity interest in the pool in proportion to their relative contributions to the pool. Fair value, according to GASB standards, is the amount at which an investment could be exchanged in a current transaction between willing parties other than a forced liquidation sale. So fair value would be a similar kind of concept that we would think about in fair value uh, outside of GASB, and that would be, of course, what would be the market price. If we were to think about uh, being able to sell these items on the market, what would be the normal market price? And that would be a kind of a the idea of what the fair value would be. Revaluation of fund assets whenever contributions or distributions occur are necessary to ensure an equitable division of earnings and changes in fair value. So whenever then we have a contribution or a distribution, then we've got to revalue, we've got to think about, okay, at this point in time, then what are the current fair values so that we can properly uh, allocate the resources at the point in time that there's going to be a further contributions at the point in time there's going to be distributions.